so I have already connected my Note 9 to Bluetooth on here, uh, but that video was kind of blurry, so I'm redoing it. So, I'm going to blurt knock that one out. Alright, so now, I'm using a fancy gimbal here. So now I have removed all my devices on my Note 9. I'm going to Bluetooth. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to unpair the car kit. Alright, so right now, my Note 9 is scanning. I see car kit available. So we're going to connect to car kit, which is what this is called. Uh, the pin's going to be 000. You can change that in another screen. I'll show you in a minute. So four zeros. We're going to hit OK. Now we're pairing. All right, so there is my Note 9 connected. If I wanted to connect, so there's my previous calls that's shown. I'm going to blur that out, of course, for the video, but you can see it has a record of my calls. If I wanted to download my address book to this, I'd hit spin, this little spin circle looking guy, and it would, it would download my contacts. I don't want to do that because, uh, for one, I don't make a lot of phone calls, and I, don't, I just don't want to do it. So, But you could do that, and it should work. I've had it do on the old joins that used to duplicate your contacts on your phone, and that was annoying. If you just wanted to dial a phone number, the screen would work. It's your contacts again. Previous calls. This is where I add a new device. Here's your Bluetooth settings. So if I want to change the name of this to say Kane or something else, you could do that. So you can change your device name. You just touch in there. You can just type whatever you wanted to. I don't care. Car kit's fine. Well, let's. Well, I guess we. Let's say we want to change it to say Kane. And if I want to change the past code, you could put whatever you want in here, right? Uh, I don't care about that, though, so I'm going to leave that. I already have it set to 000. zero, zero. So I'm going to leave it. But I changed the name to say Kane. You can have it set to auto answer. I don't want to do that, but you can have it auto connect, which I do want it to do. So I disconnected and reconnected, now it says say came here, right? So all I had to do was disconnect and reconnect. I accidentally disconnected my watch. So yeah, and now my Bluetooth settings, it says say came because I changed the name there. I uh, also have it tied to uh, the steering wheel control here. If you hit the phone button, so you can see now, as soon as I hit this phone button, this gimbal stop moving around. Hit the phone button, and boom. See, it went right up to... To this screen so let's just say so again you can see I got tied to the phone button and it comes right up if you have it on this screen of course hit the phone button boom right up so there's two Bluetooth screens this is a uh, not the default launcher this is uh, Nova Prime but it works the same with the default launcher so here's my app so you have an AD A2DP app and the Bluetooth app, the A2DP takes you to music. The Bluetooth takes you to the phone. So let's go to this app. And on my phone, I'm going to start a podcast, uh, something to wrestle with. And you can see... Here it is playing on my phone, and here it is there. And even the steering wheel, so you can watch. And I'm gonna hit the steering wheel controls to go forward. And you can see it should jump uh, 30 seconds, maybe. Yeah, so there you can see it jumps 30 seconds. I don't know why it went off the screen there. I don't know, it's taking me to my music app. That's what's happening. All right, so it's playing here. If I hit this button, it will skip ahead on here as well. So watch here, when I hit the, I'm hit the steering wheel controls, and it makes the time jump here as well, right? So you can see the steering wheel controls still work. Volume controls, of course, work just fine. 
You can pause it here if you want. If you have it on that screen, turn the Jeep off. Open the door. Close the door, get back in your Jeep. Turn your Jeep back on. Right now it's gonna say disconnected, but I'll reconnect in just a second. So set to auto connect. And it tells me my name and pin number there because I'm on the Bluetooth screen. If I wasn't on the Bluetooth screen, it wouldn't show that. But there you go. So, a couple seconds. I didn't time it, but. And of course, you can play pause here too. I don't know if you can see the time changing there. I have this. This is po Pocket Cast. I mean, you can use a music player too if you want to. Like, let's say if I went to. If I go to Google Play Music. Here I am changing songs. You can see it changing there. And I'm using the steering wheel controls here. It works. It's changing the song with the steering wheel controls. It wasn't working with the... So you can see things moving just fine. You can pause it there, right? All right, so now I'm gonna use my son's phone and I'm gonna call myself and you can see how it works. All right, so now my son's phone's calling me. And you should see it on my Note 9 and on my Seiking. All right, so here it is on my Note 9. You can hear that ringtone. If I wanted to reject it, you just hit the hang up button. Uh, if I wanted to call him back, I can just hit the Bluetooth button on the steering wheel. I'll click on my recents. Yeah, so this is the calls I received, calls I've made, and calls that I've rejected. So I rejected his call. So let's hit the phone button to call him. And now it's calling him from this phone. And you should see his phone coming through. So I'm going to answer it. I'm gonna mute it. Mute it so it doesn't sound weird. So the phone's still connected. You can see the time's going here. I hit my home screen. You see the little phone guy down here. You can click it up to go there and click it again to go back to the smaller screen. And then you can still do stuff. So, like, say I wanted to go to Waze in the middle of that phone call, Waze is up and running. And I can go back to the phone call. So I can continue doing what I need to do while this phone call is going on. Well, I just hung up on myself, apparently. No, that's still on. Call's still going. So this button here should switch it from Bluetooth, where it says Say Kane. Yeah, see the Bluetooth turned off now. So now it's on the handheld mode. If I hit Bluetooth again, I can pick it to go back to the Seikane. So again, it's on the Seikane. I'll hit this button. Now it's off the Seikane. Hit it again. And now it's back on the Seikane. Alright, so let's call my wife so we can get an idea of the audio quality. It's not going to come through exactly uh, as you would think. Of course, on here, uh, it's hard to. It's gonna be hard for me. I don't really know how to go about recording it to make the audio difference. We'll give you an idea of what it sounds like. So I'm gonna call my wife. I initiated from my phone. I'm calling her. We should hear it in a second. So you can hear it making a phone call. Hello? Hello? Yes? I'm demonstrating my Say Kane head unit phone call for YouTube. Okay. You're going to be famous. Great. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you just fine. All right. And I can hear you just fine. Isn't that great? We should get married. <laughs> That's a good plan. 
Well, I tell my wife though. All right, that will suffice. All right, love you, bye. I love you, bye. All right, so you can hear the audio come through from the call just fine. And here's why I have my microphone is coming up and down this piece here, up the A pillar and hanging, just hanging there. It literally just hangs there. This uh, they had some sticky tape that you could use. I didn't want the sticky tape on here, but if you wanted to, you could. I've just found for me, that's a good place to have it. People seem to hear me okay. I don't have the best voice, as you may have heard. I think I've covered everything we'd want to cover for Bluetooth on this thing. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, it connects just fine. I don't have a problem with it. I guess while we're here, let's go ahead and run a little speed test, shall we? So right now, I'm on my guest network, appropriately called Stranger Danger. Uh, I'm outside my house. Let's just run a speed test. It, of course, should not get as good speeds as you would think. As, uh... As I'm going to get inside the house, of course. So let's go ahead and run a test. So you're seeing 22 down. Well, it's hard to see that for some reason, but... So 25 down and 4 up, which is not great speeds. It should be better, but Spectrum sucks and it rained and Spectrum can't handle the rain. So now I'm on my home Wi-Fi on my Note 9, you can see it there. Let's run a test and see what, I mean, I would expect the Note 9 to get better speeds than this head unit. This is literally the top of the line phone you're gonna get, or the S10's what I'm recording it on, but I like the Note 9 better. So you see it's only getting a little bit better, nothing substantial better, but I mean, obviously, I'm gonna think Samsung, the world's largest Android phone provider, is gonna have better internals than this cheap Chinese head unit, right? And well, I mean, the upload speeds aren't doing substantially better per se, so we're doing pretty good, really. I mean, with the uh, Seikane there. Uh, if you're wondering how to get data to your Seikane, like say you're still looking at it, I used to have an OBD2 port. I used to have a T-Mobile sync up drive hotspot in there. I quit using that because I find it better just to use my Note 9 hotspot. It seems to work pretty good before I was just being lazy and I didn't want to hit turn the hotspot on all the time but it's been working fine so uh, overall that's about all we got for the Bluetooth Seikane uh, has been pretty solid for me and the screen looks pretty good uh, it's probably not going to come off across great in this camera because I'm recording inside my Jeep at 8.30 at night anyhow I gotta stop this video so I can go watch Game of Thrones alright so thanks for checking me out leave any comments in the description All right, leave any comments below check the description for links to this head unit and any accessories I've used for the installation. Check my other videos for more details on the Seikanes, and I'll have a full overview coming up soon. All right, thanks.